Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Shows. For those who don't know, I've been a real estate agent full time since 2008, and I've seen a lot of real estate. I've seen some good stuff, I've seen some bad stuff, but this takes the cake. It's this Instagram account, it's called Zillow Gone Wild, where they showcase the most atrocious properties that were ever listed, and sometimes you have to ask yourself, why? So anyway, we're gonna react to these houses uh, right after, of course, you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, you subscribe, and now with that said, Let's begin, because uh, these are wild. So we got our first property here. New friend's house just dropped. $135,000, three bedrooms, one bathroom. It looks, not, I mean, the purple door is in everyone's uh, style, but let's see what's inside. Uh, it's purple. It's, uh, Prince, it's Prince's old house. Okay, they, uh, they, oh wow. They like the color purple and blue with uh, what looks like to be just some crappy looking brick wallpaper on the back. Why wouldn't they at least just repaint it? This is just terrible. They would make so much more money had they just ripped this out and painted it white. Oh, that's a trip. It's a, a purple clock against the purple wall. Pink, okay. Uh, they got a Corvette in the, or was that a Ferrari Testarossa? I, I, I can't tell. They got a car in the back. Okay, well, you know what? That's actually not that bad, but you know what? We're just warming up here. Let's go to this one. 7,000 square foot bunker in Arizona for under $400,000. It seems like a good price. I mean, you can't put a price on safety, uh, but here you can. So let's see, we got a bunker. I, I, I like how they have a nice fountain for the apocalypse. Like if, the, the, you know, a nuclear blast goes off and you have some like zombies pulling up to your front door, it's nice that they're greeted with a, <laughs> with a dry fountain. Who's keeping that running? Like, if there is an apocalypse, do you really think someone's going out there and like watering it, like cleaning out the fountain? That's pointless. Am I the only one who thinks this is kind of cool? Look at this. I mean, maybe this is just the ground level. I like how uh, it, it's basically just supported by these wooden beams that they, you know, they got from the tree outside that just died. Not bad. Uh, they have a fireplace that they've taken out, I see, for a... Uh, uh, purposes that we, we don't know yet. That's fine, they have uh, antlers up above. I guess you could use those as a weapon if you need to. And uh, definitely, is this even underground? What, what? It's not even underground. What sort of bunker is this? What is that protecting you from? It's just, it's just it's protecting you from bringing a date home because no one's gonna wanna see you after this house. Uh, okay, next one. That looks nice, one million dollars. It's a cool Victorian home in Boston. I like this. Uh, ah, okay, so maybe, maybe it, there's gonna be an exorcism in this house. That's what I'd imagine. Someone's head is just like spinning around in one of these rooms and we, we gotta save them. Nice book collection, okay. Oh, that's creepy. That is, this is what you would expect in a Victorian home. Like this is why these homes have such a bad rap for being like the haunted house. Why? Because it's like guaranteed out of, out of all of these, one of them is haunted. It's just, you don't know which one. Oh man, the pots. This is the sort of stuff that you would imagine like if a ghost is in the house, like all of these would come flying off the walls. It's just like at 3 a.m. every morning, everything just comes like crashing down. See, and it's weird because then we get to this that looks kind of like they're running a thrift shop from the basement, which is kind of odd. Uh, and then they're woodworking on the next floor. I guarantee, this almost looks like a museum, like they're just selling stuff out of the house. Okay, then and then the bedroom looks like somewhat normal, but you have that one haunted room downstairs. That, that, that's gonna turn away buyers, guaranteed. Then we got this house here, okay. Uh, looks like a nice house, like a good old, like, you know, middle America, nice house with some trees in the background. Okay, it's uh, Wisconsin, okay, nice. Michael's Hall of Fame, let's see. Looks good so far. This is, we're off to a great start. Okay, oh, look at this, they got like a little Starbucks, a uh, little kitchen in here. Imagine that's like the real kitchen. Is, is this, it, a child lives here. This is the five-year-old's house. Kitchen's for dancing, okay, this is nice. I feel like we gotta wait for it. Why is this, a, they got a lot of signs everywhere, like you're seeing like, woof, home, we're so glad you're here, okay. This is us. Where there's something, there's abundance, okay, so a lot of signs. They basically got all these signs from Target. Um, that's right, wait, what? <laughs> It says, welcome to Poundstown. <laughs> Imagine going into like your parents' bedroom and like you see that. You're like, mom, stop. 
gosh, give it a tour. That's funny though. Like maybe they have a sense of humor about it. It makes it memorable. I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh man. All right. So that threw us off. That's just, that's just funny. <laughs> then we got this cool looking castle here. Uh, again, Wisconsin, <laughs> $420,000. Seems like a decent price to me, right? Two car garage. Uh, that is legitimately a castle. Uh, I, I actually, I kind of like it. I, I kind of dig the style. I mean, it's got a little bit of the 70s vibe with the, uh, the kind of plaster ceilings, but that can be fixed. I don't mind it so far. Oh my gosh, you, you have like Knights of the Round Table here just with, with this area. Uh, it's, it's odd that the couch kind of blends in with the carpet. Like it's just camouflaged. Ah, oh wait, what? That's kind of weird. Instead of a fireplace, you just put animals in there. Eh, okay, so, uh, all right. It's not my, oh wow. They got, uh, yeah, it looks like they just went overboard with the hunting a little bit. Like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of hunt. I'm not really a fan of hunting, but, uh, all right. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the brick, but it's like, what do you expect when you go up to this house? It's like, you would expect a lot of brick. You would expect it to look like a castle that was built in the 70s. All right, that could be worse. 800,000 in Fairfax, Virginia. All right, um, that looks normal to me. It, this is just really crappy pictures. I like how we just have an office chair just in there. That, this is very much like grandma's house where it's just like whoever brings over something, it stays. Um, Cash offers only no access to see lower level and home is sold as is with acknowledgement that home will convey with a person's living in lower level with no lease in place. I feel like that's kind of common, especially in a lot of these, uh, you know, I don't want to say like older people, but sometimes older people will move someone in. They just trust them at their word. The person moves in, no lease agreement. They never pay. And then the seller doesn't want to have to evict them when they're living in a the house. They're like, you know what? We just want to sell the house. The new owner deals with it. So, uh, but let's see, do they show the lower level? No, they don't. That, to me, this is just like an unfortunate situation. So I, I don't think there's that much in there. Okay, next one. Ooh, this one looks like an old like Western house. Where is this one? In uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Oh, wow, they, they just did Starry Night. Why? This is like a paints by number. This is, they saw uh, Bob Ross on the TV there and just decided, you know, hey, we don't have a, uh, don't have an easel, but we got the walls. This is what happens when a three-year-old kid just gets a hold of the markers and just starts like drawing on the walls, except uh, they're talented. All right, I mean, stuff could be painted. Who, why isn't the realtor going here and being like, hey, we gotta paint this over. I know you spent like three hours doing this, but like we gotta stop. It's everywhere. Just, I guarantee they're taking 30, $40,000 off the price just because of those walls. That's unfortunate. Um, then let's see what else we got. We got this one here. This one seems nice from the outside. It's, it's odd. They all have great curb appeal. So like from the outside looking at you, you'd have no idea that it's just about to be an atrocity. So let's see. Again, it looks normal, 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 fine. I mean, th it kind of looks like some outdoor, it looks like they did an outdoor table inside, but that's okay. All right, that, that's fine. They like the office, that's understandable. Wait, what did that say in the, did it say something? Oh, it's a whole bunch of the off. Did I stutter? Okay. All right. Well, you know, they got a sense of humor. All right. Besides that, that one's not that bad. Uh, then we got this one here. If your home doesn't have this feature, then don't ever think about inviting me over $589,000. Okay. In Tennessee. Nice. Nice. No. What is, th what? Oh my gosh. They just have first class airline seats from Delta. Did someone like famous sit in these seats or was this like, was this from a movie? This, this has to have been from a movie. Like if this were from like, catch me if you can or something like that, then I think that's kind of cool. But like, gosh, I pay money not to sit in those seats. All right, so they're just a fan of airplanes. That, that's okay. We got this one, $17 million and it comes with a surprise in the basement. What on, what is that picture in the back? That's just staring right at me. That kind of looks distorted when you look at it from this far away in the picture. Okay, it's just dated. Okay, okay. Seems normal enough, like a nice, a nice uh, family lives here. They got some golden globes, they got some awards, that's nice. 
Wow, oh my gosh, a swim, indoor swimming pool. Okay, that's just cool. I, I don't see why that was bad. But, okay, this one, we got a Barbie house, uh, $470,000 in Seattle, Washington. We're going into the nightmare before Christmas here. This is where officially you, you stand right there and you get warped into Christmas time. Uh, you, you get some, it's, it's just, a, this house is just a trip. Look at all the colors. It just imagine they said, I want the opposite of just whatever colors should be on here. Let's just go crazy with it and then make it as confusing as possible for the, for the buyer to walk in. Like they got, what is this? What is that? Is that, are these like Nerf guns they have on the, this, this okay. This is for sure a kid's bedroom, guaranteed. That's a kid's bedroom. Uh, that's unique. That's kind of cool, actually. I wouldn't mind that on a wall. It's just a whole bunch of board games. That's neat. Uh, the monkey stealing the toilet, like this as a kid would give me nightmares. I would be terrified of that. It's just odd, why? And then the backyard is kind of nice. You know, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that, that, could, uh, that could be excused. What do we got here? We got uh, inspired by Bud Light's seltzer. All right, uh, what? Really, <laughs> really retro. Oh my God, that's funny. That's something I would do. Let's find a weird one. We got $1.3 million in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We walk in and uh, we get transported back to the 80s. Uh, and this house has not been, you know, one day, it's weird, this is gonna come back in style. I guarantee it. One day, that, that's gonna be the in thing. What else could we do? How about uh, this one? $450,000 saved by the bell. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Is this a house? I, I have a hard time believing this is not like some weird office space. I, I like the pillows though. Like I have to say, if I were a 15 year old kid obsessed with like Saturday Night Nickelodeon, this is the house. Oh my gosh. This is somebody's, you, you all, we all know those people who are obsessed with horror movies and they, and they always have a, a closet looking like this. Every single one of them, they have that closet. But uh, this guy just basically took the closet and made the house the closet. Skateboard decks. This is a fan of, of movies. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. This is dedication to the horror movie genre. And I like how they have the checkerboard floors on this just to throw you off even more. Wow. I mean, I, just who lives here? That's what I want to know. Who did this? Jeez. I mean, it's cool for Halloween. Once a year, this house fits right in. Evil Dead, nice, and they got, look at the little arcade thing in there, what should probably be the pantry. Am I the only one who thinks this is neat? Like, I would charge for entry and, oh my gosh, they did the Stranger Things. Wow, wow, that is, I'm a fan, I like this though. This would be a great Airbnb rented out for people who just want this experience, and then look, Goosebumps, I got the Goosebumps book. Look, oh my God, they got the mask from Goosebumps. They got the, the skeleton from Goosebumps. They got the locker. That is neat. I'm actually a fan of that. Let's do this one, what, because this looks... All right, then we got a Hollywood Hills house that to me seems really cool from the outside. I, lo I love this. I love this, this is a fairy tale house. This reminds me of like, you know, Walt Disney's old place. Like this is gorgeous. I don't know why this is Zillow Gone Wild, but okay, so it's like a little Peter Pan thing. So it's kind of modeled after Disney. I'm a fan of this. I think this is just a cool magical place. So, you know, if I had the extra cash, I'd buy that place. I'll pick one more. Pick this one. One bedroom, one bathroom, 196 square foot home in Santa Rosa Beach that's currently listed for a million dollars. So you get 200 square feet for $1.1 million. Oh my gosh. You have to realize, by the way, size-wise, this is half of a two-car garage. Two-car garages are about 400 square feet. It's really nice, though. If, if for a million bucks, though, if you want just a beach house, I like it. I actually really like this a lot. Oh my gosh, look at that. You got a little jacuzzi on the outside. This better be right on the beach, though. You have to walk that far to go to the beach? I mean, jeez. All right, one last one that looks really odd, $319,000. And it uh, looks like a lighthouse. I'm, I'm digging it. 
I mean, this just goes, what do you expect when you when you go and buy a lighthouse, basically? What do you expect? You, you don't walk in looking for, like, modern. You walk in looking for someone who's painted the walls with their own aesthetics. So anyway, with that said, guys, if you enjoy these videos and you get some good real estate ideas, uh, just make sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section. If you want me to do more of these, I will. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.